Well, hey everybody, hunter, fisher, trapper, trader, guide, scout, and interpreter, and country cook here in my hometown of Brainerd, Minnesota, and I'm actually in front of Maury's Seafood Markets. It used to be called Maury's Fish House for quite a few years, and they got some wonderful smoked fish in there. I'm going to go in and show it to you for all my cooking channel folks, and their logo is that fish out front, but I see they actually got a, a wreath around that trout's head out there for Christmas. He's kind of covered with snow because it is snowing here. But I'm heading inside to show you the counter and all the goodies that they have at Maury's Fish House. See you in a second. All right, I'm inside Maury's Fish House in Brainerd, Minnesota. And what they really are famous for is in their front case right here. Look at all the goodies they got. Man, brown sugar glazed salmon. They got peppered salmon nuggets, Cajun salmon, unbelievable. Here's smoked lake trout. This is unbelievable stuff. Boneless smoked Atlantic salmon. And they got Canadian smoked whitefish. And here's my favorite is these little oily rascals on the end. They're very popular. There's some Cisco's in the back. The bunch in the middle are Goldies, they're called. And yesterday during the Packer game, we had Lake Superior Bluefin Herring. But man, oh man, they have some of the greatest smoked fish in the world, believe it or not, I think so, in my hometown of Brainerd, Minnesota. Let me show you some other goodies they got. Man, they got all their relishes from seaweed salad to garlic marinated mushrooms and house dill sauce here's where it starts getting exciting over here jumbo shrimp all their different sauces and they got a corn crab dip mexican crab dip their wood roasted salmon spread back there we had that yesterday it's one of their number one sellers it's outstanding holiday salmon spread and they've just got tons of cheeses and all kinds of goodies in here now we're getting over to where I'm going to get some of this stuff. In fact, I'm going to place an order right now. Here's their old-fashioned uh, herring, honey mustard pickled herring, extra sweet pickled herring, wine sauce herring, dill herring, can you believe it, salt herring, every kind of olive you can think of, horseradish cream herring, and I'll take two of these little small containers of your smoky pepper bacon herring. Oh, that stuff is to die for. We had that yesterday. Sour cream herring, Cajun cream, creamy dill. Can you believe that? That they've got like about 12 different types of herring. But I'll take two of them little containers. Then I'm going to take you over to their frozen fish section and show you some unbelievable stuff. Here they got their little neck clams, blue point oysters, mussels, huge scallops, skinless walleye, so you don't have to go sit on the ice to get them, fresh tilapia, big, big slabs of salmon here, all kinds of stuff, sashimi, tuna, back there. But I gotta go around here to the other side, past their great big huge coolers and stuff. And here's what you're not going to believe. Not only do they have just every kind of pepper jellies, and I mean it goes on forever in here. But here's something I didn't realize till last year. Yes, they have bluegill fillets and crappie fillets. That'll be my next order here if you want to. I'll, I'll take about seven or eight of those crappie fillets okay. and about eight of those bluegill fillets. We're going to go have a little fish fry and uh, unbelievable. That's just awesome. And everything else that they got. So, But yeah, I'll take about eight of each one of them. And I mean every kind of salmon. Look, look at the walleye fillets here. I will take one walleye fillet too. Thank you. You got some northern fillets here too, somewhere, don't you? We do. Um, awesome. I might have to grab them out of, the, out of our walk. That's all right. 
I just wanted to show everybody on my cooking channel. I got a bunch of people that I show different recipes to, but this is just a recipe for success when you come in Maury's Fish House. Unbelievable, all their goodies. Look at the big jumbo, huge prawn shrimp. I mean, they got one, two, three, four, five, six, about six different types of shrimp in here. And of course, about four types of lobster tails. If you ever get to Brainerd, Minnesota, go over to Baxter. It's the little, kind of like Minneapolis, St. Paul. It's a little town that's attached to Brainerd called Baxter and go up north on three cents. Well, just ask anybody where Maury's Fish House is. Look at the crab that they have in here. Fantastic, all the big jumbo red king crab, all the goodies, and then, you know, that's not to mention all their cheese sections that go on and on and on and on. And of course, you need all your crackers and all your other little goodies to put it on, but I just wanted to show you Maury's Fish House in Baxter, Minnesota. I said Brainerd, but and they're kind of like twin towns hooked together. And it's fantastic what they sell in here. Well, I'm going to take this out to Gary's and throw them in the pan, and I'll continue the show there. Talk to you in a little bit. All right, I finally made it over to Cheryl and Gary's kitchen. And uh, I forgot to mention that I picked up some of this Maury's fish fry oil. And I'm going to try it. It's kind of a yellow tint to it, so I'm not sure what all's in there. I don't have enough to really deep fry, but I'm just going to pan fry anyway. So, And we got our little crappie fillets and bluegill fillets and, and one walleye fillet in there for Gary Lee. And uh, we're going to roll them in what used to be Shotgun Red's Catfish and Crappie Breading Mix. I brought some of this actually from Nashville because it's the best of the best. And if you either bought it from me in the past or you want to get it, it is now owned by a company called Fryin Saucer. That's F-R-Y-I-N Saucer.com. You'll see their neat fryers that have a little container of oil in the middle and a one pound cylinder that cooks fish but they have our fish breading they actually bought the fish breading and now it's frying saucer fish breading so let me get these in the pan and we'll go on from there but check them check them out at frying f-r-y-i-n saucer.com and uh, they got this exact seasoning right here well here's the color of that Maury's fish oil it's kind of a yellowish tint and we just turn the burner on and I'll show you after it heats up to see if it changes color or if it stays that same color for cooking. We'll see you in a second. Well look at that oil. It is changing color. It's turning just translucent like regular cooking oil. It starts out in that yellowish, I don't know if it has butter in it or some sort of flavoring or what, but you can see that it's slowly changing when and this hits about 350 I'm sure this will all be clear and we'll throw our fish in and get to frying so we'll see you in a second all right well this oil has hit about 350 degrees we got our frying saucer fish breading and we thawed these out in cold water and even though we should have left them in the refrigerator overnight sometimes you got to get in a hurry when you're over here at Gary's house so but I leave a little water in the bottom of the everybody always asks me how they cook these I just tumble them in a little bit of water shake off the excess water kind of mat them in there shake off the excess breading oh that looks so good little excess water shake it off pat the breading in there Just lay it right in there. Now I start with that, believe it or not, I start with that burner on high and uh, until that oil gets up and because you're putting your cold fish, that's the walleye fillet here, and because you're putting your cold fish in there it cools the oil down so I kind of chase the temperature just a little bit. And I'll get one more in there. Looks good. And we'll be back in just a little bit to give you an update on what's happening. But that's what you do. Take your fish and put it in a little bit of cold water. 
get it completely wet, shake off the excess water and just lay it in the breading, shake off the excess breading and lay it into your oil and cook it until it's golden brown. Now if you're deep frying, it'll float to the surface and then let it float for about 60 seconds. But we're going to pan fry this as you see, so I'll be turning this over in a bit and I'll show you the finished product. You know, Cheryl just asked me if I needed any salt and pepper. I said, no, all the seasoning is in there. You don't have to salt and pepper at all, because we really worked on the salt content and everything. And then over here, we're kind of got a long distance, but over here we got paper towels. Get plenty of paper towels, about four or five layers of paper towels, and lay your fillets on there. I'm going to give that walleye fillet just a little longer, but I left that heat on high. Now, sometimes if you got a cast iron frying pan, you got to turn it down to like medium high. And uh, But I'm going to keep chasing these in here. And with these cold flays going in, it keeps the oil from kind of getting away. Some people think you got to turn the oil down. And maybe you do. Depends upon your particular unit, but we'll see. And we're look at this finished product. Doesn't that look absolutely fantastic? Well, I think I've showed you enough, and we'll see you at the table. This last batch is just about done, and what I did is I put another layer of paper towels. Look at all the fish under there, and I just put another layer right on top so I don't have to have two plates. Look how much fish breading is left. Now, if you take a small bag of this from that frying saucer, it'll do six pounds. And that oil, I noticed, doesn't burn at all. I guess I could cook, cook another couple, three batches in here, and uh, this is about the fourth full frying pan full of flays of crappie and bluegill, which is what they have. And by the way, Maury ships all over the world, so they'll ship you fish and stuff, but it's Maury's Fish Market, I think it is, either in Brainerd or Baxter, if you look it up online. But we're almost done. I want to give you an update on the oil, information about the seasoning and how to cook it, and let's get to the table. The fish is all done. The oil is cooling down, and Cheryl just asked me a question. Do I want to put that in a Ziploc bag? No, I actually want to throw it away. Unless you're going to put that in the refrigerator and maybe cook some shrimp in it or some more fish later that day, or even the next day, you should really discard, because it has all the fish juices in there, you should discard that breading and just throw away whatever's left, unfortunately. So I, I unzip the whole bag. I'm not going to fly it back on the airlines. So just pour out what you need, use it, and then this goes in the garbage. Thank you, Cheryl. All right, talk about a victory, because here, the little noisemaker is Victoria. Hello, beautiful. Okay, that was the answer I was looking for. But anyway, here is our finished product. We're going to get some on the plate. And uh, this, this is uh, my kitchen owner over here in the corner, Cheryl Cass. Say hi, Cheryl. Hello. All right, and Wayne and Betty, for years I knew them. Here's the Betty half of it. Hi, Betty Boop. Hi. And way back there in the back in his cabin, here's his cabin that he's got built on the side of his house. Hands up, Gary Lee. He's back there gnawing on some fresh walleye fried up in the pan. And here is the finished product right here. So we got a little bit of that Maury's Fish House pickled herring. Oh, it's so good. And... Uh, I hope you subscribe to the channel. I'm going to put the bar right there. Click right here to subscribe. And this is Steve Hall in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. But I'm actually sitting at Cheryl and Gary's house in Brainerd, Minnesota. Actually, west, clear out by the airport, Easter. I think it's east of Brainerd. And uh, beautiful home, beautiful food, great friends. It couldn't be any better. Like I say, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And this is Steve Hall on out on location with some great stuff from Maury's Fish House. And uh, is it the best fried crappie and bluegill you can buy out of a glass case without setting a line? If it ain't, it ought to be. This is Steve Hall saying we'll see you next time.